have one right there. I have one right here. There's a couple over here. It's just not a good time for me. So, as you guys can see, I do not have long nails. Um, I took my long nails off being that we are going to be in quarantine because I couldn't go get my nails done. So, I have these press-on nails. Yes. But, that's not the point of the video. That's not why you guys click the video. Alright, so let's jump into it. So, I have a product review and I'm pretty sure you guys know what it is because of the title. So, I'm just going to show you guys. Um, we have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation Dewy and you get 28 milliliters and 0.95 fluid ounces that's typical for you know a, um foundation you usually get one ounce and you're only missing 0.5 so not point yeah 0.5 of it so it's not that bad it's not terrible all right so um i got it in the shade cream beige um it looks a little light but we'll try to work with it i kind of got like almost like the darkest color like great all right so it says that it hydrates and smooths complexion for a luminous finish, buildable coverage for normal to dry skin. Good. Okay. Shake well before use. And that is it. Um, it says peel here. I guess that's for like the other ingredients and stuff. I'm not going to read all that. That's too much work. So we're going to shake it. But. I did not um, primer anything, so I'm going to go ahead and do my normal prime routine. Okay guys, um, so somebody was upstairs playing in my makeup, so there's a little bit of sparkle on my face. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that off, um, and I'm gonna like kind of reapply. I mean, it actually blended out kind of really nicely, um. Based on what I can see, ooh, my earring. Whew, based on what I can see, it looks like it blended out in certain spots really nicely. Um, 
others is a little splotchy like up here is a little redness a little bit on this cheek I probably also just needed just a little bit more product um and that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna apply like a second coat a second layer because it is it said buildable to full coverage so we'll see we'll see what it does and it for it being wet and wild like Shawty, this is late. So I know that I look like a ghost. I know. Hmm. Under my route. I know that I look like a ghost. And I really think it's because I applied the second layer. And I think I did just a little bit too much for the second layer. But I'm gonna go ahead. Um I'm gonna just bronze up the skin just a little bit and see how you know it comes out because I've seen people use a lighter foundation and they make it work like it doesn't look too light and I'm not saying you guys do that because you know that's your preference but I don't know like when I first applied it it was looking it was looking really good and then I just I don't know so I mean, it's not a bad foundation, like, but I'm gonna just, I'm gonna get some of the banana powder and just set it down, just in case, you know, you wanted to go outside just with, like, foundation. I think this, this would be good, just something to wear. It's very lightweight, like, I don't feel like I have foundation on my face, which, and I clearly do, <laughs> being that. No offense to white people, but I look white. Like it just that that is what it is. I look white. So I'm just trying to put some color back into my face and warm up the skin tone a little bit with the bronzer. There we go. Um, and then I'm gonna just set the face a little bit. I'm gonna do a little bit, a very little bit of um powder so i'm gonna go ahead and do that a little bit um you can definitely contour and you know make this work and actually putting down the powder I use banana powder 
it kind of bought some like color back into my skin and i think the light is like highlighting it to make it look, ooh, look at that oh my god to make it look very white like it, it looks so white but like it feels like a good foundation like i mean like yes some of my pimples you can still see but for it being wet and wild like what Look at the, like it does like look at my skin. It doesn't look bad. My skin really doesn't look bad. I don't know. I just be dancing. So if I turn this off, okay, let's not turn it off. But if I switched it, you guys see, it doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look that bad. It does not look horrible. Like, I do not look like James Charles, like, when he had that whole escapade. But, I don't know, guys. Like, I like it. If they had a color that was a little darker, um, maybe I can go see if they do and try to get it. Um, and test it out for you guys as well. Um, I definitely will. Definitely will. Like, so, period. That's on period, poo. Okay, let me stop. Anyway, so overall i like it um it dries down good um it works well with other products like it worked good with the setting powder the bronzer it worked good i don't really feel like my foundation moved it's still there but <sighs> overall i would recommend it just find your right color but thank you guys so much for watching this video and tuning in during this time of crisis in America um, and with all this craziness going on you know it's just good to settle down and mellow down and cool and chill out and have something to do okay because I know it can be boring <laughs> trust me I know so as I was saying, thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this video. Um, I will do a updated um, foundation look on this. But thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching me create this video.